세계를 정복한 초대교회 제자들입니다. These are the disciples of the early church that conquered the world. 우리보다 어, 형편이 훨씬 어려웠습니다. And there are in even dire circumstances than all of us. 뭐 핑계를 대자면은 아무것도 할수 없는 상황이었습니다. And perhaps to give an excuse on their part, they were in a situation where they could not do anything at all. 예, 그런데 이들이 가장 예, 정확한 세계 복음을 했습니다. But these people were the ones who carried out the most accurate world evangelization. 예, 이 사람들의 24가 뭐였냐 그죠? Then what was the 24 hours that these people enjoyed? 우선 지금 여러분하고 같은 상황에 있죠 이 성경 구절이요. We see in today's passage that they're in a very similar circumstance as all of you. 교회 예배서 모여서 네 가지 나왔습니다. 사도의 가르침을 받아. We see four things that they gathered together to give worship and they received the apostles' teaching. 그 말은 말씀을 확인했다는 말이죠. In other words, that simply means that they confirm the word. 꼭 여러분 말씀 흐름이 있습니다. There is absolutely a stream to the word. 요걸 놓치면 안 돼요. You must not lose hold of that. 그래서 아, 어떤 설교를 들었더니 오늘 내가 어떤 언약을 잡았다 이것도 중요하지만은 이 말씀 흐름이 있다는 거죠. And of course, thinking to yourself, well, what kind of sermon did I receive today? What kind of covenant am I holding on to? That's important too. But there is a stream to the word. 또 교제하며 이랬거든요. And it also reads and the fellowship. 성도가 누구는 어떻다 어떤 이거 부담도 이 성도가 응답받는데도 흐름이 있어요. And so, of course, you can say this and that about each and every believer, but there is also a stream by which the um, the believers receive answers. 이걸 봐야 되지. 저 성도는 어떻다, 내가 맞다, 안 맞다 이렇게 봐버리면 혼란이 오지요. That's what you need to be able to see if you continue to discuss whether that person is this way or that way, or whether they fit with you or not, or compatible with you. That's not the way to receive answers. 우리 자신도 그렇잖아요. 우리가 다른 사람 몰라도 내가 늘 이렇게 조금씩 조금씩 바뀌어 가고 있잖아요. It's the same with us personally as well. Unbeknownst to other people, I myself am undergoing change constantly. 떡을 떼며 그랬습니다. And it says also to the breaking of bread. 성찬식인데 이 복음도 살아있는 복음이기 때문에 흐름이 있어요. Of course, that's the Holy Communion. But even the Gospel, because it is a living Gospel, there is also a stream to the Gospel. 어 어떤 지역 가문은 100% 다 믿는 사람이 있는 애가 있는가 하면 어떤 지역 가면 한 명도 없거든요. 똑같을 수가 없잖아요. If you go to some regions, it's a region where it's 100% all believers. Some regions, there are no believers at all. It cannot all be the same. 예수가 그리스도다. 이 우리가 많이 주장하는 내용인데 필리핀을 갔더니요. 버스에도 붙이 놨어요. We emphasize quite often that Jesus is the Christ, but when I visited the Philippines, they had that even written on the buses. 뭐 버스 같은 거에 조그만 차 지나가는데 그 예수 그리스도 어떤 붙이 나더라고. And in those small trolleys or carts or even these buses, they had it printed on the side that Jesus Christ. 그 그런 걸볼줄 알아야 되는 겁니다. You need to be able to have the eyes to see that. 저 사람 진짜 예수 그리스도 아느냐? 그것도 아닌데 붙이 놨어요. For them, is Jesus really the Christ? That's not the case necessarily, but they have it printed on the sides of their vehicles. 그게 뭘 말하는 거니까? 약간의 그 사람들의 문화이기도 해요 문화. So what does that mean? That means that that's also a sort of part of their culture. 이 흐름을 보내 봐야 되는 거죠. You need to be able to see that stream. 또 일본 사람들은 어떤 문화 하니깐요. 뭐 모든 종교는 다 좋은 거야. 그 중에 기독교 좋은 거야. What about Japan? Then when you go there, you see that people say all religions are good, and among them, Christianity is also good. 그런 그 흐름을 봐야 되는 거죠. You need to be able to see that stream. 그런 걸 알아야 여러분이 정확하게 응답을 이렇게 내가 받을 수 있는 겁니다. Only when you know that can you accurately receive answers. 뭐 조금 또 한국 교회나 세계 교회는 보면 조금 흐름이 약간 좀 복음은 말하지만 조금 유교식이죠. 흐름이 그래요. 이렇게. Then when you look at the churches of Korea, yes, we do speak of the gospel, but at times it's founded on a lot of Confucian beliefs as well. It's our culture. 그러니까 이제 그 옛날에는 더 그랬죠. And it was all the more like that in the past. 옛날에는 뭐 여기하고 미터 별 차이 없는데 
위에 강단에 여자 못 올라오게 했잖아요. And so in the past, it's not very much different. All of you sitting down there and here on the stage, but you couldn't have uh, women come out and stand on the pulpit. 그거는 복음도 아니고 율법도 아니고 아무것도 아니고 그냥 유교 유교 사상. That's neither the gospel or legalism. That's actually just founded on Confucian beliefs. 네, 그런 걸 빨리 캐치해야 아, 내가 어떻게 사역을 해야 되겠다 어떻게 이게 나오는 거죠. You need to be able to catch onto that quickly in order for you to see how you must carry out your ministry. 네, 기도하기에. And it also says here in today's passage that they devoted themselves to prayer as well. 반드시 기도 응답도 흐름 있어요. There is absolutely a stream to prayer answers. 이래 해야 이제 내가 정확하게 신앙생활 하는 거지. 뭐이 흐름하고 전혀 상관없이 막연하게 있으면 안 되잖아요. And only when you're inside of this can you live your walk of faith properly. If you have nothing to do with this, then everything becomes very ambiguous and vague. 이러면은 이걸 보면은 생각이 하나 들어요. And then, as you look at this, you might come to think something. 제가 하게 된 생각인데, 저는 아이 땅에는 교회가 너무 많구나. This was 그랬어요. my thinking, but I thought to myself, well, there are a lot of churches here in this world. 그럼 과연 그게 맞는 거냐? Then is that necessarily right? 지금 교회가 하고 있는 게? The things that the churches are doing right now. 목사 많아요. There are so many pastors. 그러면 나는 어떤 목사 돼야 되느냐? Then what kind of pastor ought I to become? 뭐? 큰 일을 한다기보다도 어떤 목사가 돼야 됩니까? 목사 선진대 목사. More than doing something great, what exactly does a pastor entail? Because there are so many pastors in the world. 많아도 복음 운동이 안 되고 있잖아요. 교회 문 닫고 있잖아요. Despite the sheer numbers and size, there are so many churches and pastors, and yet the gospel is not being preached. 그러면 내가 무엇을 어떻게 해야 되느냐? 금방 답 나와요. Then you quickly come to the conclusion of what it is and how it is. I must carry that out. 그이 뭐. 돈 벌고 일하고 뭐 그냥 신앙생활하고 이런 성도 많아요. And there are a lot of people who just simply go out, they make a living, and they come to church, they live their walk of faith. 뭐또뭐 열심히 일해가지고 뭐 살고 교회와 신앙생활하고 뭐 그러다 죽고 뭐 이런 그 중직자 많다니까요. There are a lot of church officers who live the entirety of their lives, living living diligently in the world and living their walk of faith here in the church. 그렇게 살면 안 되죠. 많은데 뭐 그러겠냐. We cannot live our lives that way, though. 여러분의 생은 후대를 향해 영원히 남는 여기에 관계된 걸 찾아내야 돼요. You must discover what it is that your life is connected to inside of this eternally this eternal church that must be left behind for our posterity. 아, 내가 무슨 뭐 교회에서 막큰 일을 한다 이것도 중요하지만은 이 초대교회 중지자들은 보면 어떻게 세계를 보고 만했나 하면 전혀 표시 없이 올바른 제자들을 키운 겁니다. Doing something great in the church may also be important, but when you look at the disciples of the early church, without any visible sign of it, any outward display, they quietly raised up the disciples. That might not seem like anything at all, but there's no way to defeat that. 그러면 초대교회는 주로 뭘 했는 거니까 세 가지를 했잖아요. Then what is it that the early church members primarily did? Three things. 그리스도를 행기 아니고 오직 그리스도. They didn't just do Christ; it was only Christ for them. 하나님의 나라. And God's kingdom. 오직 성령. And only Holy Spirit. 이세 가지를 초대교회 행입니다. That's what the early church did. These three things. 어 지금 그 세계교회 문 닫는 이유 다른 거 자꾸 하잖아요. The reason why the churches of the world are closing is because they are holding on to other things instead. 이거 안 합니다. They're not doing this. 뭘 그렇게 많이 하는지 열심히 해요. I cannot know what it is that they're doing so much, but they're busily partaking. 그 이거는 안 해. And they don't do this at all. 그리 당연히 세계교회는 문 닫는 겁니다. And that's why inevitably the churches of the world are closing. 어, 여러분들 잘 흐름을 잘 보셔야 돼요. You must be able to read the stream accurately. 어, 문 닫기 시작하면요. 끝없는 어두움은 계속 들어옵니다. And once the churches begin to close down, the 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 stream, the tide of darkness that flows in is unending. 어떻게 되는 거니까 유럽 교회처럼 되는데 나중에 유럽 교회는 교회 안 가요. And later we'll follow in the footsteps of the churches of Europe. You see that you have churches in Europe, but nobody goes there. 이게 더 위험한 거는 그러다 보니까 젊은층이 신학교 안 와. 그 이제 앞으로 이제 교육자도 없죠. 
And what's even more dangerous is that the younger generations are not even going into seminary school, so they don't have the next generation of pastors. Ah, 교회당 건물은 있어요. They have the church building. 그러니까 뭐 유로 사람들 잘 법적으로 건물 잘안 뜯어요. 보관해야 되거든요. 그러니까 교회당은 있는 거요. And in Europe, it's stated in the law that they cannot tear down these buildings, and they, so they maintain that. But they just have the building, and that's all. 그러니까 주로 누가 오는 거니까 할머니들이 와. And so who are the ones who come to worship? Usually it's the elderly grandmothers. 뭐 할머니들이 시간 많고 하니까 뭐 힘도 없고 하니까 이제 나이 많아서 서가 그런데 모이는 거예요, 그렇게. And so it's a, it's a place of fellowship where these elderly people gather because they have a lot of time on their hands and nothing else to do. 서서 변해 가지고 젊은 아이들은 뭐 하고 있는 거니까요. 전 현장에서 공부 열심히 하는 것처럼 보이지만은 마약에 빠지고요. 그 아이들 막이 막 동성 연애하고 막 이제 막 빠져요. And we see that slowly the culture begins to transform. It looks as though these younger generations are living very diligently in, in their lives in the world, and yet what they're ac- actually doing is they're using drugs, they're falling into homosexuality, and other sorts of problems. 그래서 여러분이 구역에 가서 혹은 사람을 만나거나 생일 거 아닙니까? 이럴 때 가장 중요한 시간표가 되는데 먼저 여러분이 나는 그러면 왜 지금 어, 하필이면 한국에서 태어나서 왜이 여의 중자리냐를 생각해야 돼요. So when you have and go back to your district or you meet with people, that becomes a very important time schedule. You must be able to induce in them the thinking. Then why is it that I, at this this time schedule, I was born in Korea and I'm living my walk of faith as a church officer here? 뭐큰 일을 하면 좋지만은 이걸 꼭 해야 돼요. 꼭 of, 봐야 돼요. Of course, it's good to do great things, but you must absolutely see these four streams. 이래서 초대교회는 이 중직자 제자들이 어떤 것이 나오는 거니까 이게 그리스도 하나님의 나라 오직 성령 아닙니까? And that's why that's exactly what the church officer disciples of the early church did. We see here in the introduction these three things. That's Acts 1, 1, 3, and 8. 네, 여기에서 모든 걸 찾아내고 체험한 거예요. And they discovered everything inside of this and enjoyed and experienced that. 자, 이게 맞다면 체험해야 되겠죠. If that is in fact true, then you must be able to experience it. 그래서 일어난 응답이 사도행전 2장 1절에 오순절 날이 이미 이르매. And that's why this is the answer that resulted in Acts 2:1 when the day of Pentecost arrived. 이게 어떻게 나타났는 거니까 사도행전 2장 17절 18절 미래가 보이기 시작한 거. And how was this manifested? Acts 2:17-18. They were now able to see the future. 여러분이 이 체험을 해보면 반드시 미래는 보입니다. If you experience this, then surely you will be able to see the future. 어떤 면에서는 여러분 지금까지 잘안 됐던 거 하나도 걱정할 필요 없습니다. 왜냐하면 필요 없는 거거든요. And in some ways, all the things that have not taken place for you until now, there's no need for you to be concerned about that because those things were in fact not very necessary. 왜냐하면은 대저스면 딴 길로 갈 수도 있어요. And rather, if those things had actually worked out for you, you would have taken perhaps another path. 진짜 생각하셔야 됩니다. So that's why you need to think about this. 꼭 여러분도 생각해야 되지만은 앞으로 커오는 후대들 생각해요. 후대들이 이거 모른다. 어떻게 되겠어요? And of course you must think about this for yourselves as well. But then think to yourself, if your next generation doesn't know this, then what will become of them? 어, 틀림없이 어느 날 영적 문제 만나가지고 흔들리 무너질 건데 그게 한두 명이라 해야지 다 그래 될 건데 막아줘야 돼요. And if they don't know this, then one day the day will come when they will begin to falter and sway and, and be destroyed because of spiritual problems. If it's just one or two people, we can handle that. But if it's all of them, we must be able to block this from happening. 근데 여러분의 자녀들이 못 알아들을 경우도 있습니다. 말로 알아듣는 건 아니니까요. 여러분이 갖고 있으면 어느 날 전달됩니다. And there are times when your posterity will not be able to understand. However, if you have it in your possession, one day they will come to see it. 그래서 이 사람들이 이걸 알고 이제는 모여서 기도하는데 단순한 기도가 아니잖아요. And these people knowing this began to gather in prayer and it was not your simple prayer. 날마다 성전에서 날마다 집에서 있는. Acts 2:46-47 reads that every single day in the temple courts, every single day in their homes. 이제 더 중요한 거는 이 언약을 붙잡고 What's even more important is that they gathered together, holding on to this covenant. Acts 1. 그냥 모인 게 아니고 지금 여러분처럼 간절한 마음으로 기도한 거예요. They didn't just assemble, just like all of you here. They gathered with this earnest heart of prayer. 그거면 됩니다. And that's all it takes. 
응답받을 생각도 하지 마시고요. 이 언약 붙잡고 오늘 간절히 기도하는 겁니다. You don't even need to think about the answers that will ensue. Just hold on to this covenant today and earnestly enter into prayer. 여러분만이라도 정확하게 하셔야 됩니다. 응답이 안 왔다 왔다 그런 거 따질 필요 없습니다. 여러분 이 언약 붙잡 간절히 기도. 응답은 정확한 시간에 하나님 주시잖아요. And at the very least, we must do this properly. We shouldn't concern ourselves with the answers that may or may not come. If we hold on to this covenant in its most accurate time schedule, God will bestow upon us these answers. 어떤 사람은 아버지가 장로님이었는데 이 아들은 교회 안 다녀. And I've seen this case where there was a father who was an elder, but his son didn't even attend church. 그런데요, 그건 우리 생각이지. 그 장로님 돌아가신 오래됐는데 오늘 이 아들이 오시. 믿음 생기는데 아버지보다 더잘 믿어. But that's just the way that we, that we read into that situation. One day his father passed away, and that son later on went on to have an even greater and better faith than his father did. We cannot know these things. 돼요, and so it, this is all it takes. This covenant of 114. 오로지 기도에 힘쓰리라. And it's they devoted themselves solely to prayer. 그러니까 체험이 되셨죠. And that's why they were able to have this experience. 그리고 이 사람들은. 교회의 진짜 축복이 뭔지 알았어요. 여러분 알고 있지 않습니까? You know well. 마가다락방에서 일어난 거. 이게 진짜 축복이 교회 축복이거든요. 안디옥 교회에서 일어난 거. 이거 없었더라면 어떨 뿐이었어요. 로마서 16 사람들이 모여가지고는 로마를 복음한 로마 교회. 오늘 일부 설교 때도 나오겠습니다만 이 이후에 이걸 놓치고 난 뒤에 문제가 왔지 초대 교회는. 완벽한 모델을 우리가 보여주고 있습니다. And I'll speak of this more than the first service, but for us, the early church serves as a perfect model. Of course, problems did come when they lost hold of this covenant. 이러면 반드시 여러분이 오늘 언약을 찾게 잡았는데도 남기는 것이 있습니다. And if this happens today, you might just hold on to a very small covenant, but there will be something you leave behind. 아무리 작은 거라 들으면 진짜 복음이라면. No matter how small it may be, if it is truly the gospel, there will be something that you leave behind. What will be left behind? What will be left behind? It is this Romans sixteen twenty five twenty seven. God has sealed the promise that will be given to you for the promise of eternal life. You will leave behind that which God has hidden for long ages past, but that which will remain eternally. 여러분은 나이가 들어서 혹시 하나님의 나라 가도 생명 운동은 지속되는 거예요. And as you grow older in years, and even after you leave this earth and go return to God's embrace, the life movement will continue. 그리고 초대교회는요 제자 운동은 계속되는 거예요. And just like the early church, the disciple movement will persist. 그래서 다른 거 하지 말고 오른 복음 운동 하라. 오른 복음 운동은 반드시 And that's why we say, don't do anything else. Just take part in the accurate gospel movement. But because with the gospel movement, it will continue. 예, 뭐 많이 해야 되는 줄 알지만 그렇지 않습니다. 계좌시 눈에 안 보여도 신은 생명이기 때문에 반드시 이렇게 돼요. And people think we need to do something vast or great. That's not the case. It's just one seed. That mustard seed is so small, and yet because it has life, it will continue to grow this way. 여러분은 지금 그냥 기도했을 뿐인데 이게 냄는 동동으로 계속돼요. And you may be praying a simple prayer right now, but that will continue in the form of the remnant movement. Yeah, 틀림 없습니다. 이게 초대교회입니다. It's a sure fact. That was the case for the early church. 왜 초대교회 얘기 안 하면은 그 이후 이전에는 모델 되는 게 없었어요. 초대교회가 이렇게 됩니다. And why do we speak about the early church? Because before then, even after that, there was no example of this. But the early church serves as our model. 여러분이 이걸 가지고 이십사 하면 됩니다. Now with this, you must do twenty-four hours. 왜 그렇습니까? 우리에게 주어진 시간이 24니까요. Because the time we've been allotted is 24 hours. 네, 늘 시작이 그리스도 함께. The start is always this way. With Christ, that's all it takes. 우리의 진행은 바쁘게 할 필요도 없고 게을리 할 필요도 없고 하나님의 나라 이만한 따라서요. Then how do we proceed? Not busily, not lazily. It's just following the kingdom of God. 그래서 우리의 결론은 세계 복음화입니다. That's why what is our conclusion? It is world evangelization. 오직 성령. Only Holy Spirit. 나머지는 남는 거 없어요. 
Apart from that, there's nothing else that remains. 어, 여러분 나이가 많이 들면 남는 거 없어요. After you grow older in years, there's nothing that 어, remains. 여러분 아무리 좋은 집을 지어도 다른 사람이 살아요. No matter how good of a house you build for yourself, somebody else will live in there someday. 여러분 자녀가 사는 것처럼 보이지만 그것도요. 여러분만한 그릇이 안 되면 그거 못 살아. And perhaps it may appear as though your children will take on your inheritance and live in that home, but if they don't have the same vessel as you, they can't even maintain that. 결국 다 뺏겨요. In the end, they have it all taken away from them. 그 아무것도 없어요. Then in the end, nothing is left. 여러분이 이 응답을 누릴 때는 영원히 계속되는 겁니다. But if you enjoy this answer, it will continue eternally. 요걸로 24세요. And that is what we must have 24 hours with. 그러면 됩니다. That's all it takes. 그럼 혹시 다음 주간에 꼭 구역 모임 많이들에도 여러분 누굴 만나게 될거 아닙니까? And in this upcoming week, perhaps you don't have a district meeting, but you will meet with people surely. 뭐 어떨 때는 뭐 약간 간증을 하기도 하고요. And at times you can give your own personal testimony. 또 무조건 가르치려고 하면 안 돼요. 어떨 때는 가르치기도 하고. You can't always try to teach somebody, but there may be times when it needs that it requires that. 또 어떨 때는 내가 뭐 심부름하기도 하고. And there may be times when you run an errand. 왜냐하면 현장 가면 여러 종류 사람이 있으니까. Why? Because when you go into the field, there are all sorts of different people. 어떤 사람에게는 여러분이 힘을 줘야 될 사람이고요. There may be some people for whom you must strengthen and reinvigorate. 또 어떤 사람은 조금 보고 이렇게 말을 잘 알아들면. 고쳐줘야 될 사람도 있고 여러 가지 있겠죠. And if there are some people who understand your words correctly, then you must help them to rectify their path and correct their ways. 그래서 구역 공가 오늘 주일 예배 이걸 가지고 여러분이 한번 요거를 잘 보셔야 돼요. And that's why through today's district message and the first and second services, you must be able to see the stream well. 그러면 틀림없이 여러분에게. 딱 손에 잡히는 게 나옵니다. Then absolutely something tangible will result. 뭐 응답이든 아니든 손에 딱 잡히는 게 나와요. Whether answer or not, there will be something that it becomes tangible. 그거 얘기해 주는 겁니다. And it's speaking about that. 아무것도 아닌 것처럼 보이죠. That seems like nothing, right? 저는 그 신앙생활 할막 전자 하려고 이렇게 할 때. 누구 사람의 설교를 듣고 은혜 받는 게 아니요. 어떤 사람이 하나가 자 얘기 듣고요. 오늘 봐. But when I was living my walk of faith, it wasn't through the sermon that I was blessed and received grace. It was through the words of one individual. 나 설교는 나중에 내가 이제 뭐 신앙생활 잘할때 얘기지. 처음에 내가 막막 흔들리고 이럴 때는요. 그 설교 들을 수가 없잖아요. And I was blessed by the sermon later on when my walk of faith was proceeding well. 이런 사람 많습니다. When I was shaking in my faith, it wasn't the sermon. 그래서 여러분은 말 한마디에 흔들리는 사람들이. And that's why through the one few words you speak, those people who are faltering in their faith can come back to life. 그 약간 여러분이 뭐 이렇게 뭐 간증했을 뿐인데 상대는 그게 아니라는 거예요. All you did was give your simple personal testimony, but for the person receiving it, it may be different. 나는 이제 그 어떤 중직자를 보면서요, 많이 배웠어요. I learned so much from this one church officer. 아, 이 사람들은 이렇게. 살구나 이거 배우게 되죠. And to the lives they were leading, I thought to myself, that's how they're living. 그리고 이제 이 복음 운동 탁 하는 사람 보면서 내가 내 생에 막 크게 말해 막 뒤집어지 이건 아닌데 내 마음 속에 아 그래 이게 맞다 이런 생각이 들더라고요. And so I saw people who were carrying out the gospel movement. It wasn't a seismic change that arose in my life. It wasn't a transformative change, but I simply thought to myself, that's isn't that right? Isn't that how I should live my life? 그게 변화를 줍니다. And that is what induces change. 네, 오늘 여러분들이 예배하는 중에 큰 치유, 예배하는 중에 큰 능력, 응답 있기를 바랍니다. Today as you give your worship, may you receive great healing, great answers and great grace. 기도하겠습니다. 하나님께 감사드립니다. God, we thank you. 오늘 중요한 현장에서 구역에서 응답 있는 하나님의 언약이 성취되게 하옵소서. May we see the fulfillment of your covenant with answers in our important fields of life in our districts. 오늘 하루 종일 기도하는 중에 우리는 예배하지만 현장에는 하나님의 나라 이루어지게 하옵소서. And as we remain in prayer all day long today, of course we are giving our worship here today. But may your works arise in our fields. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.